guys welcome to part four it's part four i'm gonna do the tail sock so i'm hoping this will just be a short video if i don't find any problems but uh, i just gotta disassemble it um paint it Zip everything up like right now it's really like everything i don't know like i said everything you've seen so far in this video has been everything's been super stiff you know turning everything has been really difficult look at that so um yeah i'm gonna spray it just just let me put some w4 out just to lube it up a little bit maybe you know um all right so i take the bottom off i have this whole thing easy off everything <laughs> it looks like you have these little side adjusters which are kind of cool so you can um uh you know adjust the dialed in to make it straight okay Let's see. all right just look at this thing all right so i'm hoping it should be pretty straightforward so I don't, yeah, so that's the original paint is lighter or darker. I'm not sure. I think this thing has been painted more than once. Um, all right, let me get the second part. I usually start off with the, the purple power stuff. And then, um, if this isn't working, I, I mean, I guess I could ultrasonic clean it too. But it seemed like this this grease, whatever this grease was, it was, the ultrasonic cleaner wouldn't even get it off, even with a ton of like dish soap. So I had to switch like over to oven cleaner. So on the body, I'm going to do our cleaner outside. Let's let this soak. Yeah, these little engine oil galley brushes to get into the more tape. There's a lot of oil down in there. Got the tail stock painted. All the parts clean. If I got any little paint, I'm just going to take a little um, what's it called, uh, acetone, get the paint off there, just clean the surface if I got any paint on there. Alright, I'm gonna do the same thing that I clean that up, maybe. Okay. Alright, I gotta look. Alright, I'm gonna rub this down with acetone, get that rust off, make sure it's as flat as I can. Let me move if there's any rust on it, like just like that. But just get the heavy stuff off with the razor blade, and the acetone will take the rust off. Hey, you want this, these two servers to be as flat as possible. So the same thing on this side, too. Yeah. It's have to be super flat, and then I'll put some oil on them, too. This should just be pretty straightforward. So I'm going to move this up real fast. Shaft. And then with the shaft too. Threads, you know, I'm gonna put oil all over the place. Um, this needs to go in first. Hope I can get it in there in one hand. If not, then I will. Let me put this upside down. These are just to put on some sort of shaft. There it goes. Once I get it in there, I should be able to grab it. Put this shaft in here, get some lube up in here. I'm gonna suck it all down. And before I put the hand wheel on, I put this in that way. That's gonna help it lock it in place. And it just goes, um, put some extra that down here too. I'm gonna run. Oh. Okay. Just slide it in like that. And I can get the thread started, and then I, I can put the thing on because this will actually help like lock in place. The fact that there's a, like a set key or like a channel. This is the end of part four. I mean, this is going to be a short video. I mean, it's pretty basic. Thing rebuild. It's getting back together. Part five, I'm going to be doing the motor. I got to take the motor apart and see if it's dirty. It's a Dayton motor. Um, but like when I got all this stuff, man, this thing was all frozen solid. I mean, you could, you could move it, but it was just so stiff because the oil was so caked in there, you know? It solidified or something. It got sticky. Nice and smooth. Alright, cool.
So yeah, and I gotta work on the uh, gear system, well the back gear system. Uh, let me show you that real fast. Garage is a mess. I gotta finish these projects. Um, yeah, that's the thing I'm talking about. This rear, uh, the, the belt tensioner and that pole right there. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do is the gear train. Um, I think this is actually gonna be the most complicated and it's gonna take me the longest to do. So that's the last thing I'm gonna do. But I gotta take this motor part, check the start capacitor, check all this contacts. This has actually does have a centrifugal clutch and an on and off forward. So, all right, upcoming video is part five will be the uh, motor and uh, clutch system.